Psycho Skipper here in the Exumas near Georgetown and today we're going to talk about Bohemian Lobster Habitats. These are man-made structures about 4 by 8 feet as you can see one pictured here um, and they're they're man-made to provide natural, well not natural, but habitat for the spiny lobsters in the Bahamas. Did you know the spiny lobster industry supplies much of the demand for the US market for lobster? Here we are at the hardware store yeah. with our friend uh, Justin. Justin, he's going to Justin, Justin He's going to cut us this four by six, four by eight. We're going to cut it down to four by six, and we're making uh, crawfish condos here. Crawfish uh, condos. That's very good. Yeah, and then we, then what we're going to do? Is we cut this tin, and we're going to nail this tin onto that board. Put okay. some concrete slabs down, and then uh, what we're going to do? We're going to collect crawfish from the condo. Okay. We loaded up our supplies in the pickup truck and hitched a ride over to the to the to our dinghy where we left it at the dock. And then we load up our dinghy and ferry everything over to Black Diamond. This is just the normal mode of transportation here in Georgetown Exuma. We got the materials we need for the lobster habitat. We're delivering it to Black Diamond and then we're going to drop it off somewhere and uh, wait for the lobster to grow. All right. Here we are just getting ready to go out on the boat near um, Sand Dollar in Georgetown Exuma. This is my friend uh, Terrence. We, I nicknamed him uh, Snoop Dogg because he looks quite a bit like Snoop Dogg. He's the chief engineer working with me here on producing our uh, lobster habitat. We went and bought all the supplies. You can see there on the dinghy in the local hardware store and I'm gonna head out to a local key here to, to put the habitat together. So we didn't exactly go about building it properly, but I'll, I'll tell you what we're doing here is not exactly the right way and how to do it. The, the lobsters love to hide inside rock crevices and little caves, and they need to have an opening on both ends. They like to have an entrance and an emergency escape method in case a predator is coming in. But on all the other sides, they like it to be covered and dark, um, they like it placed, they like to have them near the grassy areas where they can find food and come in, in and out of, of the habitat. Um, if, if there's a lot of habitat and they, they have a lot of places to live, they will multiply abundantly. If they feel safe, um, they will just multiply. And some industrious bohemians figured this out. There's a limited uh, supply of lobster and if they fished them all out, they'd be gone. But they figured out a sustainable way to uh, to continue the industry and actually grow it <clears throat> by making literally thousands of these habitats and placing them all over the Bahama Banks. There's about six or seven families in, from the Abacos and from uh, Spanish Spanish wells in Eleuthera that are the main ones doing this, and each of them have one or two thousand lobster habitats. Now, the proper way to do it is to get this corrugated roof product, uh, two by sixes on either side that cover the sides completely, and then the ends are open. And uh, they have a way of weighing them down. Now, we didn't do it exactly right. We bought, we got about six cinder blocks that we were gonna use four to raise them up above the water, and then place two on top to weigh it down. The problem with ours is that uh, they're not closed on either end. So the lobster didn't feel safe. There's too many openings and they didn't come in. We are loading up our dinghy and we're going out to drop it. Where are we going? Uh, Miami? On our homemade raft. So Bohemian law states that anything on the ocean floor is public do domain and anybody can harvest lobster from it although the locals don't like it when you're taking lobster from their habitat. So they do not mark them with any flotation devices. What they do is uh, they mark them with on their GPS. So as I was saying, they've got literally thousands of them 
all marked on their GPS and and then they go back to them and harvest their lobster they'll take they'll they'll have about 20 or 30 lobster in each habitat and uh, I believe they leave a couple two or three behind so they can multiply and sometimes you can harvest uh, twice in a season the open season on lobster in the Bahamas is from August 1st to March 31st um, there's been some uh, bohemian lobster pirates actually they're dominicans coming into the bahamas and and finding these uh, habitats you can see them on the, the on the bed of the ocean or on the water because um you know much of the bahamas banks are just 10 to 20 feet deep and if you're sailing over you could spot them and go down harvest your lobster and sometimes what they'll do is they'll uh, move them over about 50, 100 feet and uh, mark it on their GPS, basically claiming it. And uh, the owner, rightful owner comes back and cannot find his habitat anymore. So there's been some uh, shootouts on the open seas over this. Search uh, Bohemian Lobster Pies, there's a reality show on that. And uh, we did the same thing in terms of marking ours on our GPS so we could find it and come back for it. Um, Although we never did get any lobster, we learned from our mistake, and uh, now we know how to do it right. Uh, we're going to try and go back and, and build some more. Thank you. 